what's up guys, Dr. Bo here, and I'm uh, answering a question that was sent to me via email. Uh, the patient is asking, what is what they call piriformis syndrome, and what are the symptoms associated with it, and then how do I get rid of it? So here we go. What piriformis syndrome is this? Let me pull out my handy little spine here. This is the back side of you, this is the front side of you, so let's spin to the back. There is a muscle right here called your piriformis. It connects to the femur or your leg and it goes and it connects to the inside portion of your sacrum here. There's a nerve that runs underneath it here. This is called your sciatic nerve. When this muscle is compressed over the top of it, it presses on the sciatic nerve and pain is felt on the posterior side or the back side of the leg. Now, is this true definition sciatica? No, it's not true definition sciatica. What true defi definition sciatica is, is, is when the nerve is being dragged along the bone here, not being compressed over the top. So the symptoms change a little bit. True definition sciatica, any sort of movement at all, lifting the leg, moving, bending forward, extension, anything's causing extreme amount of pain. However, when we have piriformis syndrome, only when the muscle engage and tightens down is the pain felt on the sciatic nerve with the radiating down the back of the leg. So standing, usually okay. Any sort of moving, or they, they use the term external rotation. This muscle actually causes the leg to externally rotate up and out. Now, how do I get rid of it, right? Two things, first off, we have to make sure that the pelvis is in perfect alignment. Make sure the, the pelvis is not subluxated or out of place. How do we do that? That's your chiropractor. Go get checked. Make sure that everything is working and moving appropriately. Chiropractors will help to adjust and, and relieve that pressure. Second thing that we need to do is we need to apply pressure over the piriformis muscle to get it to relax and to relieve. Once that happens, then the pressure will be taken off of the sciatic nerve and the sciatic symptoms will decrease and dissipate. So let me show you how we uh, go and we use a foam roller or a grid to help alleviate some of that pressure. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some pressure over the top of that piriformis muscle. And I really want you to really think about what is going on as we apply the pressure using the foam rollers. So you have to visualize putting the pressure over this exact muscle. Now to do that, we are gonna sit on top of the foam roller here. So the foam roller will be here first. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your butt and turn it at a 45 degree angle and compress right over the top of that piriformis muscle. And then we're gonna roll back and forth and pin that piriformis muscle, okay? So let's get to it.